Hi, I'm Jennifer Takis, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! and today I'm excited to show you some uh, more new features of my Digital Studio 2. This is a birthday card that I've created for a dear friend and I've used the Convention 2012 Digital Kit and it has some very cool uh, chalkboard looking backgrounds in different colors and some gorgeous uh, frames and banners and text and uh, what I'm going to show you is how to have your text go in a curve shape or any kind of line shape that you want to create and also how to make your background with this watermark um, like I've done with all of these words on this card. Now so here is uh, where I'm going to start. Now I've already imported the banner stamp that I like and I want my text to float along the banner in a similar shape. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over to Freeform in the Design Center and I'm going to click on Add a Line and when you get this pop-up window you'll see you have a straight line here with two points at the end you want to click on it so that it's blue and highlighted because that means you can edit it. Now I want a curved line but it's just kind of a slight curve and there's more art than science I think to this so I'm just going to move this down so I can see the shape that I want I kind of pull down that side of the line, curve it up just a smidge, and I think that that really, I might bring this down just a smidge too, I think that might really just be all I need. And I'm going to move it up into the banner area so I can check. Now it's not quite aligned, but I think if I get my rotate cursor here, I can just kind of rotate it until it's about where I want it. Yes. Now, I have the line the way that I want it. Now I want to add text to it. So I'm going to go to my Add Text in the Design Center. It's going to bring up a text box for me. Uh, the font that I like to use, I think goes really well with this particular set, is GG. I'm going to have the font size at about 32 and I'm going to type happy and I'm going to stretch this out so I have room for it. Birthday. And that might be a little big so I'm going to bump that font size down to 28. Oh, let's go 26. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to select Happy Birthday. I'm going to hit my Shift key and I'm going to select my line. And when I right click, I have the option now to attach to shape. So I do that. And I'm a little bit big. So how do I get that Y to show on the end of my Happy Birthday? Well, one of the cool things you can do still is go in and edit your text by double clicking. And you'll see I have right here in this window the ability to change my font size. So I'll go down to 22 and see if I don't get all my text on there. Yes. Now, you may be wondering how I'm going to get rid of that line. Um, don't necessarily like the way that looks. So if I right click, bring up the menu, click on Edit Object and you'll see hide line. If you check that box and close, you'll see the lines disappeared. So there you have it. I'm going to move it down just a little bit. Now your text follows the banner. And you can do that with any line shape and any amount of text. Now the next thing I wanted to show you real quick was how to create that watermarked background. And I've imported all of my stamps that I'd like and I want to group them together so you can do that by holding down your shift key and clicking to select them and once you have them all selected you can right click and select group so now they're all together and I want to change them to watermark so in the design center I click on change color and we have a new button now in the color palette this big W and that stands for watermark you click on that 
and it will change it to watermark and the cool thing is is that even though I had the black text it will match the watermark to uh, the color of my paper I hope you've enjoyed watching my video tutorial please visit my website for more projects and ideas and videos at stampedinfo.blogspot.com